what up good read Jojo and I wanted to make a quick video about obstacles um, and I'm gonna start by admitting that this is something that I'm sort of experiencing I feel like I've been experiencing obstacles my whole life but generally speaking um, I feel like I see others a lot of times facing more obstacles than me personally um, and so I want to bring this up. I mean, I'm about to have a Saturn return in astrology. A Saturn return is around age like 20 through 30. And it's when Saturn is meeting up with your natal Saturn. And so this is like a perfect topic. Basically being that I'm 28. And I'm having my Saturn return at present. So, basically, um, obstacles. Why do some people seem to face obstacles to the point of not being able to get themselves out of particular situations? Um, you may want to blame the universe. You may want to blame others. But I'm here to let you know that this is a karmic experience just like everything else. Um, and... Just like everything else, we experience like these reflections, okay? And what I mean by this simply is that if you personally create obstacles in your life, then you will receive obstacles back. And then that's what creates an abundance of obstacles where it just seems like everything's like intertwined and you can't really get out. And um, with that being said, okay, and the reason why, too, I'm going to speak about this topic, I was going to speak about it in my next podcast episode, but I figured, let me do a video. I haven't done, like, a video where I'm, like, in, like, in, like, outside of a vehicle. Like, let me do a regular, like, horizontal video. So, anyways, with that being said, right, so, obstacles. Most of the time, okay, obstacles are something that's created because you created them, okay? Whatever you create, you have to understand that that's going to come back. It's just <laughs> common sense, karma. It's the laws of life. So what's important is to actually create the right obstacles in your life. Obstacles are not here to hurt you. Obstacles are here to help you to progress in life, to do better in life. When you create the right obstacles, you build endurance. A perfect example of this is like a person who um, wants to build more upper body strength. So they begin to do like push-ups and stuff every day and they increase the tension. In other words, they increase the amount of reps or something like that. Um, the amount of times they do the push-ups and eventually they start to build more strength. This would be a proper way of implementing an obstacle in one's life for the purpose of progress. Now. If you don't personally create the right obstacles in your life, what can happen is, well, what will happen is that the universe will create these obstacles for you. Not only that, but you may end up creating the wrong obstacles as a result. So if you don't create the right obstacles in your life, if you don't create the proper areas of tension in your life in order to progress in your life, you build these obstacles in the wrong areas and then you end up causing yourself to face more difficulty that is unnecessary let me provide a few examples so if somebody has like a library card right and every week they go to the library because they like to read the new issue of their favorite magazine right and so they go to the library every week to read the new issue of the magazine which is fine that's what a library is for it's like you know a free space as long as you have like um you know access to one and and whatnot now the thing is that there's other ways of doing the same thing right so some people go to the library and they read the subscription um other people i mean they <laughs> some people go to the library and they um you know they read the magazine that like everybody else is touching and handling or whatever you know what i'm saying um 
then there's other people who end up just subscribing to the magazine online or something like that, right? So then they end up just getting every weekly issue just straight up delivered to their flipping computer or electronic device. Then there's other people who just order the subscription. So they literally have it mailed to the front of their door every single flipping week. Now, here's an example of an unnecessary obstacle. A person who chooses to continue going to the library, and I'm not dissing the library, keep that in mind. I'm literally trying to provide an example. A person who continues to literally go to the library and receive this weekly subscription. Um, I mean, a person who decides to every week go to the library and read the new issue, but then complains when somebody already checked it out but then complains when the new issue looks dirty or something like that like because a bunch of people touching it wrinkling up the magazine whatever it be um when there's these two other options so then you see how that's like you're creating an obstacle for yourself because you're complaining about something that you have other options as to how you can receive this gift this benefit this um value of yours so you create an obstacle for yourself that's unnecessary so then that's what will happen when you start to see that something's kind of not starting to work in your favor anymore then all of a sudden you're going to notice that you know at first the first issue was that you were getting mad because um, the library isn't always on time with having the latest issue then the second issue was that um you know too many people are like touching the magazine and stuff and like you kind of have ocd like so and you're noticing like there's like food stains on the flipping magazine and stuff and you're like getting grossed out then it's like you see that it's an issue if you continue to allow like that to be an issue but you're not actually doing anything about it this is when i'm trying to say it's like you're allowing for an obstacle to really interfere with your life because you're not doing anything about it. That's the problem with people today. They don't know how to really like take advantage of, you know, um, what they already have available towards them. And, and people are lazy and stuck in their ways. This creates obstacles in your life. In addition to this, some people treat life like a library. Like they just sort of want to just have things available to them without actually properly, um, connecting like with it like some people just want to walk into a library and just read a magazine um and, and yeah oftentimes you're able to do that but you cannot implement that same um librarian like library like ideals to other areas of life not everything in life is like a library where you could just openly go in there and just like oh all this stuff is available for me to borrow like today you should actually like subscribe to stuff like instead of doing things in roundabout ways people's fears people's envy issues people's um laziness causes them to have many obstacles in their life when you learn to break out of that fear that laziness when you learn to break out of that envy then you'll be able to do things more directly and then obstacles will be less intervening and then also creating the right obstacles in your life in order to progress such as increasing tension in the proper areas of your life whether it be that you're trying to um improve your gaming skills you increase the level of the game, the board of the game, right? You go up a level. And then what happens? Things generally get what? More difficult for the most part. But if you're not able to actually like do that, if you fail to create tension in your life where it needs to be, you allow for yourself to create tension in the wrong areas and you create obstacles in your life. And then you get stuck into a maze of obstacles.